Guys, we're back on the 54. In this video, we start mounting the front clip, build a fan shroud, and start getting the radiator actually fit into the truck. start off by bolting the hood into the hood hinges. I got the hood bolted on, start on the front end. The gaps on this is actually pretty good um, for being a 51 to a 54. Gap check. I'm actually pretty happy with the gaps. They're all within reason. I could work with them all. They're not having any mounts yet. So I think the plan is going to take some flat bar, drill some holes in it, um, eventually I'm going to drill some holes in the frame and I'll just, I think I might weld some nuts into the frame and then there'll be a piece of rubber between these two just as an isolator and then I'll go square tubing up to the top of the fender, tie into that hole there, a square tubing on each side going up. When I figure out my rad, I can come across between the two square tubing and make a rad support that way. So we got the square tubing welded to the flat bar with a rubber mat and some holes in it. I think I'm still going to weld the nuts directly into the frame. That way it'll be just in and out. Zip them out with a gunny. I have to get that off because this will become my rad support as well, I believe. That's the plan. So I drilled the holes in the frame. I used the step bit and that kind of crept up on the sides for the nuts. So now I'm just going to mark the flats. And I'm going to hit it with a file. Where did I put my file last? You only ever lose the tools you just had in your hand. There. Hold that in. Have it flat with the frame. This is what they look like installed. Of course, these bolts, the shoulder's too long on them, so I'll have to get some sh shorter shoulders on the bolts. I guess I'll be doing a bolt run soon, but you can see how. So I got them bolted down, just using some extra axle nuts to actually make them suck down in the frame. I think I'm gonna do a similar idea for the top and cap it the square tubing cap it and then weld a, a nut there and then that way we just use a bolt check it out no more blocks holding it up it's on mounts it's bolted in the hood gaps not even too bad bolts in there it's pretty good look at that front end mounted on its own weight no blocks or nothing holding it up now Okay, this is the last day I'm gonna spend time on this rad before I just order a smaller one here. But if I trim a little bit of the, these back, I'll have 33 inches. So my plan is just to cut some reliefs and just fold it down for the meantime. If I decide to go with a smaller radiator, I could fold it back up and then just re-weld it. So I'm gonna do that first. Try to get this thing in here. Last attempt, I'm stubborn. Sometimes we're winning here. I trimmed the fenders back a little bit on each side. It just dropped right in, no issues there. So the next issue was that bottom rad hose. Let's see if I get a picture of this underneath here. If I went low enough with the rad, I can fit a 90 degree hose on there fine. And then I'm gonna come up on the outside of the frame rail up and over, obviously need a new hose. Um, I had to trim back the grill a little bit, 
And once I get a fan, I might have to sh trim the second bar of the grill to get it just a little bit more back. Uh, I even know the AC lines on there, they fit. Here we go, we just got the one on there. It fits between the bottom frame rail and the rad. I got about three and a half inches, so that should be enough for electric fan. And again, once I trim this uh, grill a little bit more, probably get another half inch out of it. Trans cooler, I'm not gonna run through the rad anymore. This thing's got this massive power steering cooler. So I'm probably just gonna end up using that as my trans cooler. And then I have a small one for a power steering cooler as well. And I got lots of room for that in front of the condenser. Um, the only other thing of concern is how low it is. It works out better for the bottom rad hose to have it this low. It's about the same height as the frame and I'm gonna have a bumper on it as well. This thing is gonna be low, it's gonna go on airbags. But. And I do plan on running some type of cover, probably not this one or it's pretty destroyed from the latch, or at least this one, but heavily modified. Wherever I do mount the rad, I do want to be able to get access to the cap, so I'll probably end up chopping this down. And then the spots that I cut will get covered by this as well, and clean it all up. Look what came in finally. Two 12 inch rad fans, just cheapos from Amazon. Picked up some sheet metal, so we're gonna whip up a quick shroud for it, and then we'll finally get this rad in. Got my piece cut, but I didn't really think it all through here. I was supposed to leave a tab up here to come and mount in this original bracket. Not the biggest deal, I'll just have to weld on a piece afterwards. So I got the piece cut, got this little bench mount metal bender. Hopefully it'll work a lot easier than bending by hand. They advertise it as 20 inches and then they put these bolts in here. There should be one on this side. Can't even fit a 19 inch piece in there. Bullshit. There we go. Now stand. See, I got a 90 on both sides. Fits pretty nice. So now, now we're gonna have to make those mounting tabs I was talking about. You can see there's a height difference there. So I'm gonna have to do a little step down and then I guess I'll just weld it there. Should work out okay. Here there's a hole for a peg, the plastic one had a peg. I might just weld a bolt and then I'll have it use the bolt as a peg. I think that should work. So this is my mock-up idea. Bent a couple little tabs there. I'll just drill some holes and spot weld the two sheet pieces of sheet metal together. Fans will roughly go something like that. At the bottom I'll uh, weld these bolts to the sheet metal. At least keep it aligned and keep it in place. So this is basically a finished product other than getting some better hardware for the bolts. Uh, I got these welded into place, working as a stud, tops bolted into place. The only issue I'm having right now is it's, let's see what we do. It wants to flap. I'm worried about it catching wind and flapping like that. So I'm gonna run a bead roll here on the top and the bottom, that should stiffen it up enough. Um, it's hard doing the manual crank B roller by yourself. Maybe next time I'll bug my wife to come out and give me a hand, but it doesn't look the best, but it is functional. It takes out that, uh, whatever you want to call it, that play in there. It's a lot stiffer now, so I don't have to worry about it flapping in the wind. So the rad shroud's done, 
we will pop the rad into the truck next. So the rad does fit as tight as all hell in there. I'm gonna have to trim back the grill a little bit here and there. Don't really want to, but I think that's just the easiest way to make this one work. But unfortunately that's it for the video today. Next video, we're gonna start building mounts for the rad, top and bottom. Hopefully my front bumper will be here so I can build off that bottom rad mount into the front bumper. Uh, I ordered the rest of the sheet metal for this. Hopefully it'll be in, in the next week or so. And then we can start making this thing look like a full on truck. So stay tuned for that. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff.